Hello, this is Quantonium, and welcome back to another Let's Play. We're going to be playing Herobrine's Mansion, made by Hypixel. And we're actually going to use a different texture pack. I'm going to use the one recommended, uh, which is Ather's Ascended. And I hope everything will be alright. I'm playing single player. You can play this map uh, multiplayer, but as you guys know, I do not have any internet. So. This is about it. I don't really know anything about it, except there might be Herobrine. So anyway, we're going over here. Can you see me? Yes, I can. If not, make sure you got to read the map details. Yeah, we know. Um, there are certain things that needs to be in order for this map to work, and I hope everything will be as it should be. S certain server settings and such. Um, here you can... let's see. Yeah, you can play this map on mc.hypixel.net And you can also choose which kind of uh, uh, difficulty you want to play it at. But first I saw this room over here which says tutorial room and I'm interested so let's, uh, let's go try that out first. If we can. That is, I don't think we can. That was a sad day. Okay, in that case, we're going to be clicking on easy, since that's the big recommended thing. You're now playing on easy mode. Thank you very much. And apparently the door opened, so that's quite nice. Tutorial room number one. Alright, not much here. Boss fight. The dummy tutorial test. Press button when ready. Alright, fine. Oh, holy crap. Alvin. Okay, uh, I don't know why I just said Javel as in Norwegian, but why the hell do I only have my fists to punch that thing with? In any case, please do not be uh, confused by the, the beautiful looking texture pack. It is just normal Minecraft, but yeah. Somehow, I feel like I should have some kind of weapon. There's a box over there. Maybe actually something is there, but I don't know. We, anyway, picked up the rotten flesh and we got a music disc for some reason. Interesting. What is this? Um, nothing. Fine. We're gonna check this box here. When you kill a boss, it will drop a music disc that you need to use on the jukebox to deactivate boss abilities and open doors. Alright, cool. Well, that's the present. But anyway, moving on uh, into the next ru uh, elite monster, anyway. And if the Torah press this button to start your adventure, grab the quest line. Uh, let's see. This is an elite monster. Warning, they are hard to kill. Alright, so let's take a good look. He seems to have some kind of, uh, I don't know, enchanted equipment, which I kind of want to get my hands on. Uh, three custom equipment sets are available in this map. Tenacity set, angelic set, and demonic set. Get demonic set from bosses, shops, and elite monsters. Alright, cool. Grab with a quest log. Quite a long one, actually. I think they went in wrong direction. I think this is the first one. Yeah, quest number one. Save Victor and his friend from zombies. You can find them hiding in the little house in front of the mansion. Alright. Quest two. Head to the crypt and find the skeleton king. Kill him and use his music box on the jukebox. When it's done, make sure you loot the gold nuggets. Victor will be able to exchange them for very powerful loots. Quest three. Get in the mansion and find all the acolytes. 1. Areta the spider. 2. Sado the mage. 3. Benetha the witch. Kill them to access Herobrine and stop him from summoning the wither to our world. Whew, yeah, okay. Quest 4. Find a way to stop Herobrine. If he managed to bring a wither to our world, we are doomed to chaos and destruction. Do not fail. Kill Herobrine. Wow, what the hell? Kill the wither. Warning. 
This boss requires coordination and skills. Make sure. Eh, can't see, stupid. Eh, make sure you're prepared. You can always leave the fight and put it on hold. Okay. Quest 6 has subscribe to Hypixel on YouTube. Well, maybe we'd do that. I don't know. Alright, so that is the... Was that just the first one? Alright, no. They're apparently connected somehow. Alright, cool. So, we're pretty much ready. That was the end of the tutorial. And we are ready to press this button to start our beautiful, interesting adventure. Alright, clicky click. Did you really read it all? Press again if you are ready for the reels. Yes, we did read it all. Ah, yes. Darkness. Forest. Alright, let's try to explore. Well, we can see a couple of things. Over here there's a box, so obviously that's where we're going to go first. Indeed, wooden sword and stake. Stake? Truly? Unbreaking? I didn't know there were different... Uh, these are wooden swords, by the way. Which apparently we can stack halfway. Strange, I don't know. Very strange. Uh, anyway, let's put this rotten flesh away, and steak is going to be our nutrition for this exercise thing. Uh, over here. Oh, I thought it was something interesting, but it's just a tree. Ah yes, the moon is shining brightly above. And we're going to try to explore this forest. Quite dense forest, actually. But it seems it's leading along a path, so we might as well follow that. Oh, there's a zombie. Now, of course, it's a little bit annoying, I bet, to listen to all this clicking from my mouse, but there's nothing really I can do about it, so, you know, it'll have to, it'll have to do for the moment. We got some more rotten flesh. Oh, who, what is this? Except for the zombie, there seems to be some kind of shrine over there. I think you get critical hit if you jump, right? Oh, there's another one. Alright, come on, die then. Thank you very much. Alright, we got some experience. All neat. So this is some kind of shrine, but I I, I guess it's actually just the light. Oh, interesting. Very neat. Very neat indeed. I don't know what, what it actually is, but I'm guessing it's just the lantern of sword. Looking very nice, but it leads us our way towards the mansion, most probably. Uh, something leading in here. Victor says, Help us, strangers! Zombies are surrounding us! We're trapped! Who knows? Well, we can't have that. We gotta save Victor. It must be the first quest. Aha! That must be where they're trapped. Alright, well, we're gonna have to kill those zombies. So, apparently, most of the, the creatures in the game, or rather, in this uh, adventure map, uh, is spawning... Um, on the command of high pixels, so to speak, it's um, it's not a regular spawner. I think he's placed them there himself, and that's uh, I really prefer that way. Victor's shop, potions and rares. Victor says, "Thank you, heroes. Take my, the swords in my storage chest. We are too weak to fight." Oh, there's more zombies actually. Oh my God, there's quite a few zombies. My lord. Oh, we can't have that. Actually, we're kind of dying. I'm gonna eat a little bit of steak. There we go. Don't want to be dying. Okay, come on, zombies. You know, I wish I had something better than a wooden sword. Even if it is enchanted. Did I just pick up something else than a wooden sword? That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Um, no. It's just wooden... No, oh, hold on, it's stone sword. Interesting, interesting. But it is almost broken... So, at this point, I don't think it's actually doing much better than... Well, it has five damage compared to four, but whatever. We're gonna leave it. Uh, yeah, we still have to save Victor, which uh, kind of... ...is the point. Um, off the first quest. Man, that's quite a few zombies. 
And I'm taking more damage than I, than I feel like I should, you know? Come on. There we go. Ah, yes. More zombies. What the hell? Oh, okay, I think that's the last one. There we go. I think I can see Victor inside. Oh my god, that's disturbing. Oh, holy sh damn, Dude, that is creepy. Okay, so apparently he wants rotten flesh and he's gonna give a steak for it? Wow. Wowzers. Gold nuggets and Coley's agony helmet. Protection 2, projectile protection 2, fire protection 2, un unbreaking. That's very nice. 5 armor, I want that. I really want that, but we're gonna need golden nuggets for that, and we only have a potato. So, for the moment, we're gonna leave that quite where it is. But we might as well get some steak, why won't we? Yeah, okay, here we go. Rotten flesh, thank you very much. We can actually get some more. There we go, four steaks. So we got actually quite a few steaks now. Don't think those stack, considering they're a little bit different. Um, Gonna put the quest log there. Don't wanna miss those. I think probably it's not worth carrying four of these swords, considering they are unbreaking. But it seems that one has actually lost a little bit of it, of its health. We're gonna keep one, and then we're gonna throw away two more in due time. It's actually getting a little bit low FPS here. Uh, anyway, your personal storage, that's nice. Ender chest. wonder how that works. Well, we're just gonna leave a couple of things there now, so we... Maybe we, I don't know how these works, but maybe some kind of trans-dimensional storage box, which we can access at other, at other time. I don't know. Anyway, here's a stone sword, which is unbreaking. Oh, that is nice. I'm gonna steal that. Oh, okay, here's a crafting bench. Man, I love this texture pack. Makes it like ten times more interesting to play. Maybe I'll actually do a single player uh, survival of a sort. Tell me what you think. Should I start a single player survival sometime? I may or may not anyway, depending on your answer. <laughs> Let's take a sleep. It is light outside, thank you. So anyway, thanks. Ooh, well, we can actually go up. Is there anything interesting on here? No. It really doesn't seem like it, unless there's something hidden. Uh, oh no, can't say so. Okay, we're gonna leave you for now, Victor. Might as well come back later when we got some interesting gold nuggets. Is that Victor? I think it is. Anyway, done for here. Uh, they're pretty much done with the first quest, aren't we? Um, how do I do this again? There we go. Quest log. Save Victor from the zombies. You can find. Right, fine. Second in is actually heading to the crypt and find the skeleton king. Kill him and use his music box. And don't know. Okay, so we actually find some gold nuggets. That's very nice. So let's head to the crypt and kill the Skeleton King. Interest. Ooh. That's interesting. Why does it get dark? Is it perpetual darkness in this place? Hmm. Well, anyway, we can we can kill the zombies, which are looking quite nice. I think actually that guy has a helmet. See, he doesn't take damage on his helm. He doesn't drop one, though, which is kind of sad. I wonder if there are actually places where you could find secrets in his map. I bet there is. So anyway, here is the beautiful, beautiful looking mansion of Herobrine. And presumably this is the crypt. Um, we are going to explore it, as you might have understood from the quest. But first we're gonna kill a zombie, which is kind of in our way. Come on, die already, please. Ah. Oh, maybe it's I. I think actually it's a. Ah, it was a elite monster, and it dropped some pants. Oh, thank you very much. Actually, taking a little bit of damage, even though it is supposed to be unbreaking. 
Six armor, tenacity set, projectile pro projection. That's very nice. Wow, we got an interesting face. Kind of looking a little bit like Aragorn or something weird. Anyway, moving onwards. I'm actually I'm glad that that guy gives us steak for the rotten flesh because that kind of gives us incentive to go picking up all the rotten flesh. Um, yeah, this has to be the 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 cemetery or whatever. But anyway, we're gonna have to check that. Oh boy, out next episode without dying. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already, and give the thumbs up of the video. It really does help. All right. See you later, and join me in the next episode.